I'll be performing a measurement using the Macy M tablet Spiro. After selecting the patient, I will enter the application. On the first screen, I'm instructed how to correctly place the mouthpiece on the device, so it has to be placed like this. I can also use the filter whenever needed. It is very easily attached to the mouthpiece. I have to instruct the patient to sit in an upright position, to be relaxed and to exhale with as much force as possible. Before I continue, I have to put in the patient's height and patient's weight, and I have to select the correct prediction model based on his characteristics, which today is GLI 2012 Caucasian. I can put in the information about smoking status, about any medications this patient is taking, and then I will be able to continue with the measurement. I do not have to calibrate the spirometer before starting the measurement because it is self-calibrating. So the patient will perform three maneuvers at least, and out of the two repeatable ones, the best one will be automatically selected. I'll be using the FEVC modes today. So whenever you're ready, you can start exhaling. More, 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 more. And here we go. I received the graph and the values for this particular measurement. But as I said, we need repeatable measurements. So whenever you're ready, you can start again. Continue. Two more seconds. All right. So the patient is blowing for at least six seconds in this maneuver. Okay. Another one. And then we'll be done. Continue, continue, a little bit more, a couple more seconds. Wonderful. So out of the three performed maneuvers, the first one was deemed to be the best one, which is why it was automatically selected. So once I click finish, I can rate the patient's level of cooperation, which was good in this case. I can add any comments and I can create a report. I'm able to switch between charts and values for this particular type of a patient. I have the quality summary, I have the patient data that I previously input, and I can also review the z-score for the best recording for different parameters. In the history, I can switch between the different parameters I have performed and really monitor how this patient's status is progressing. I can add any comments, and when I'm done, it is automatically saved into the patient's healthcare record.